Hello Pagan Explorers and welcome what is happening. So as you've seen in the intro I am at a brake systems factory and as you've seen in the history there it would have repaired loads of brake systems for vehicles and different things like that and done different types of haulage. So without further ado let's get on with the Explore. Now I will be putting a mask on throughout this Explore as well just to let you know because they have warned that there is asbestos within some of these buildings so that's that's the warning that my voice may go a bit dampened okay guys so let's get on with the explore there we go fantastic okay so I'm guessing we'll start with this one here so I'm guessing this would have been the boiler room there we are. So, some drops there, you can see how it's decayed throughout time. There we are. So, yeah, that, that would have been your boiler room. And I'm guessing there would have been like a little office over here somewhere. There we go. Oh, step over. There we go. Somebody would have probably manned this, I should imagine. There we go. Just shows you what's going on here. All right, just going to step over again. There we go. So that's that little bit there. Yep, there was the office even, just there. So there we go folks, it is an amazing sight and it's so sad to see things in a state like this. It really, really is. But there you go, what can you do? And there we go, there probably would have been some kind of, I've just spotted that now. I'll try and zoom in a bit for you as well. Yeah, they're probably have been a ladder up to some sort of control room as well to make sure it was all running properly so yeah I would just have a quick walk in here there isn't really much in the actual factory itself so but there we are just had the wildlife attack me then <laughs> at least it was the wildlife not something or someone <laughs> There we go. So, there we go, it's been emptied. All emptied out, stripped of machinery and things like that. Fragile roof. There we are. I'll just have a look at what, to see what this is. In fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go round the edges here. There we go, that would have been some sort of electrical box just there, box junction. So, there we are folks, completely derelict. And it's a shame that it couldn't be built into something else. I mean, when I looked upon the history, and when I looked upon the bits on it, then it actually said in the description of this place that um, that nobody has taken it over or anything like that so it's really quite sad you know I'm sure it would have made something fantastic there we go A fuse box there all kinds of rubbish there we go So I will do a walkthrough of the factory itself in just a moment for you guys. In the minute it's absolutely tipping down with rain. So I'm trying to find a place where I can go in and explore for you guys. So, and here's the office blocks and there's the haulage, probably bought by themselves. And there we are, little porter cabin just here. 
There we go. Just going to have a look through this window just in case there's somebody. No, I'm safe. <laughs> So I, I always have to check these places. I am on my own as well, but I have let somebody know that I'm here. And there we go. Looks like somebody's stripped a load of insulation out the walls there. Have been having a load of fun ripping that out. So vandalism. And this looks like it's been absolutely firebombed beyond belief. Lots of fire damage to the walls there. So, just go inside, peek inside. I'm not going to go upstairs and things like that because it's dangerous, you know. I'm not going to go too far inside anyway. There we go. So that's all burnt out. There. Looks like yeah, it does look like some homeless people have been in here as well, sleeping. Poor people. Do you know what? I really, really do feel for them. You know, having to sleep rough like that in a fire-damaged building. Like I said, I'm not going to go too far inside because, I say, even though it's quite well reinforced, you know, I don't trust it. There we go, and it's actually feeling a bit squishy underfoot the there. There we are. So, there we go, folks. Oop. Just felt that underfoot there, yeah. Well, as you can see, it's in total disrepair. Totally squishy under the feet, like I said. Blown out tyres there, <laughs> all kinds. Yeah. So, I'll see what the stairs are like, but I might only just go to the top, no further. They look like they're reinforced with cement underneath it. Yeah, there you go. So, but. As far as that goes, that is as far as I am going. Not going any further than that. And of course, I have to be careful underfoot because look, shed load of smashed glass. You know, even though my shoes are quite good, one of that's sticking through my feet, and there we go. Probably get some, probably get blood poisoning. So I don't want to risk that. So, there we go folks, this probably would have been the office blocks I should imagine. So I'm just walking around the outside now. I did notice when I was walking around here earlier, there were, there was like an entrance block and that looks as if it might have been completely firebombed as it were. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll film through the windows just so you can see. I'll try not to get brambled and cut to ribbons. There you go, guys. I'll get a bit closer for you. So there you are. Yep. It is, like I said, a lot of people lost their jobs and things like that. Once would have been a fantastic establishment, everybody would have been well in their work and what have you, happy. You always get some one person complaining about work, but there we go. There we are. So, it just shows you, it is a shame, you know really is. So just walking around, it just shows you as well how how all the undergrowth has taken over the buildings as well. There we go. 
I'm going to go with one of the one of the main factory blocks there. I did have a look around earlier. Like I said, it's a bit slippy underfoot in there as well, I noticed. So, the next place I'm going to take you is up here. Just to see what's what. There we go, overgrowth on the stairs. And I've got to be careful because of things like this green stuff here. Might as well be walking on butter. <laughs> So there we are, here we go folks, now I'm guessing I'm going to have to be a bit careful here because I don't know whether there's security on site here, yeah, possibly, so just trying to be a bit careful, so there we go. I'll just zoom in for you. There we go, guys. That would have been your entrance point. Somebody would have probably been waiting there to see a pass and things like that. So there you go. That's that bit. So I'll walk back down the stairs again. Just got to be careful. Not to slip on the moss. That's the word I was thinking of, moss. So... Sturdy does it. Don't want any accidents though. Oops. A bit of pipe there. Bit of piping. There we go. And these probably would have stopped people slipping down these bits here. There we are. Actually still have them the stairs nowadays. There we go. Okay, folks. So, just going to have a walk around this block again. But I will have to put a mask on, like I say. So, if I do go muffled and you can't understand what I'm saying, I will try to maybe voice, change the voice or should I say put a voice over on it so you can hear what I'm saying so there we are put the old mask on I can hear people so I am going to get inside a bit there we go Oh, I didn't see this part earlier. And there we are. Some of the piping and whatnot there. And there we go. That's all the roofing over there. I'm not going to get too close to it because there was an asbestos warning. And I don't really fancy tangling with that stuff and being in hospital. There you are, folks. This is what's left. Once, once a great factory. Chemicals there. As I say, this stuff here is very slippy underfoot, so just trying to be incredibly careful that I don't go gating across the factory. And as you can see, see I nearly went then. So as you can see there, there's the old roofing. A lot of it's just been pulled down. And like I said, it looks like maybe I've just seen some mattresses there. Maybe those are from security. May have stayed there. Or even like I said, homeless might have been in here. So yeah. There we go, folks. I'll just take you for a quick walk around here. Just 
look at it, folks. My goodness. It is really sad to see places like this in such states. Oops, sorry about that, folks. Just had a bit of a slip and slide there. Thought I'd go ice skating, or sludge skating, should I say. <laughs> there you go, that probably would have been middle offices or some kind of extra boiler room and what have you so you could see what was going on or it might have even been some kind of unit within it just have a look and as you can see there's the warning but I have got my mask on see? <laughs> there we go folks oh cost centre paid here so that must have been the wages no entry in everyday clothes there we are my gosh just shows you doesn't it oops so like I said I'm just trying to be a bit careful here. Yeah. Oh, don't go flying on my back. I have got my torch in my pocket so if there are any interesting bits then. There we go. So I won't cross over the, there. There we go, folks. Finally, some of the original tiling is just there. Look at that. There you go. Right. Just going to be a bit careful. I'm going to stand at a distance here. As you can never tell who might be in here. I think it's safe to say that I'm safe there. There we go. Ah, there's your fire, fire extinguisher part there. So. Look at that old barrel or something. Okay. Oh gosh, they had multiple fuse boxes throughout the factory. Incredible, is that? Wow. That must have been the old system, the old way. You can still hear some electric humming. They have got like an electrical grid over there from when I was there earlier. So, there we go, folks. And that brings us pretty much to the end of our explore there. So, Okay, I'll just go outside, just so you can hear me better. Oh, hang on, before I do though, I am going to have a quick look in here, just to see what's what. It's such a shame, isn't it? Why do people feel the need to dump rubbish and smash stuff up? It's ridiculous. There we go, folks. Rubbish bags left. Goodness knows what. Right, I think I'm going to exit through this way. There we go. And there it is, folks. All of its glory. So. Let me know what you think and please if you've watched this video and you've enjoyed it please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell 
So you are then in constant loop with what's happening in the future. And please check out all my other social media channels as well. I will put them in the description box below. But for now, there we go. So, as always, bright blessings, blessed be. And where you can be anything at all, then please be kind, because being kind is the most beautiful kind of person that you can be. Take care, guys. Thank you.